This was supposed to be our next versus video. But by the size of these, I wouldn't have wanted to face them either. So I always try to have the best experience possible for anybody that comes into our store, which is why when I heard about these, I had to get a pair to try. These are the Ellipson Heritage XLS 15s. Now, what I planned on doing was bringing in a pair of JBL L100 Classics to compare the two, because these were really designed, I feel, to compete directly against them for around the same price point. Uh, unfortunately, JBL did not uh, answer our request to become a dealer or send us a pair of L100, so we're not going to be able to do a verse video today, but I think you're really going to enjoy learning and checking out the new Ellipson Heritage XLS 15s. You probably haven't heard of Ellipson, and really neither did I, and all I really know about them is they're the oldest speaker manufacturer in France. But when we tried some of their other products, we were really blown away. When I heard they had vintage, I had to have them. So guys, before we get into it, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss any of our hi-fi, what's the word that I try to use? Experience. It's time. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's time. We were not in here doing nothing. Never. We were having a discussion, a meeting. Discussion about what? <laughs> Who had the high score <laughs> in root beer tapper? I'm gonna start training. It's me, me, right, me, 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 and Mike. So I read the packs. Com these are compact loudspeakers. Yeah, they're they're compact. I'd say so. All right, Mike, you get the uh, cart thing. What? What's that now? Include the extra stands. You didn't get the black thing. The black thing. What the With hell the is car? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I was talking hand trucks. <laughs> the black thing. Yeah, Cart, yeah. hand truck. Stop it. Oh, we can use that. I got it. I got it. Coming about. A box? Another box. Inside the box. I wonder what that box looks like. Maybe we should show them. We're getting pretty good at this. Yeah. It looks like the exact same box. That's where it goes. It's another box. <laughs> it's a box. No. Okay. What, what, wow. What's this? Okay. You got your... What is that? The port. Nobody ever uses it. You should. And if you do, say so in the comments. Oh, so these Put are the stands. stands. So you wouldn't use these if you buy the other stands. So, before we pull this out, uh, we want to thank Ellipson for sending us these brand new XLS speakers. I got the model number, right? right? XLS 15s. Uh, we appreciate it. And, you know, if you are interested in these, shut up. I'm uh, open them. We can get you a pair uh, because we are the dealer for them now. So it's fun. So you shop just All right, well, well, can open them all. And push. Okay, don't do the reveal yet. We have to put the stands on. So we need a screwdriver. Is it a Phillips head or flat head? Probably Phillips head. Huh? Can I borrow a screwdriver? There. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe this comes off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe here's the okay. here's the setup part that we're trying to figure out. So it comes with this, another one for the other side, and this for the front, so they kind of go underneath like this. The problem is this screws into the speaker. We thought maybe they just go right here, but they don't. So I think we got to take this off. Why didn't you get a powered one? Yeah. Uh, what, what, no, what, what, uh, I thought it was a kef. You know, kef thought. A cap thought? What? Yeah, because yeah, the cap mean? stands, you don't need a powered one. It's just really easy to put the stuff. The... 
Yep. So then you use the same screws to put those in. Wait, wait, wait. You use the two new screws to put these in. Run up. So these stands offer a seven degree tilt, which is more than the Model 5s, which are five degrees. All right, let's see what we got. Nice and nice. Ooh. Oh, those look at are... that. It's a white driver. Not 15s. I wonder why they use 15 as their, uh, looks like a 12. I like it. It's a nice build quality. Feels good. You see a lot. Nope. Boo. 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 Rock and roll to 11. Pots good. feel good. Nice and satisfying. All right, so you get a mid-range and a treble, so you can adjust by one dB, uh, both the treble and the mid-range, and it kind of shows you the chart, just like Vintage speakers do underneath and what it exactly does if you like to look at that kind of stuff. The grill is made of like a... It looks burlap. That's thick. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a thick cloth. It feels, like, yeah, I guess, is burlap like just that what they make the sacks out of? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what it feels like, a black burlap. The frame looks nice. It's it's sturdy. It's going to hold up over time. Goes on good. Comes off easy. Yeah. All right, let's flip it so you guys can see. Yeah, just basic terminals. Nothing special. Let's see if they come all the way off. Yeah, they do. So you can see the size difference speakers. from the heresy. So that's going to be your comparison here. We can open them up. I don't, that's not really the difference I'm looking for. Uh, the driver sits at the same height uh, about as the Heresy, uh, but it does go a little bit higher. Uh, base ports on the front. I really like the wood. I, I'm okay with the burlap grills. They look really nice. They're gonna hold up over time. The material's definitely uh, retro. That's a retro material. In comparison, they're wider than the KLHs. They're wider than the Heresies. And they're definitely wider than the lens. They are not tilted up as much as the heresies. So the heresies are probably more like 10 degrees. Uh, yeah, seven degrees tilt. What you want to listen to, Lenny? Something with the grills off. <laughs> nice <laughs> last year. Anything else we can do for you, sir? Water? Oh. So if you've never been to our store, this is what you get to do. You get to sit in the chair, listen to whatever you want, listen to whatever songs you want, and control the volume, kind of. So you get to get the entire experience, not just what we want to play for you. You get to pick whatever you want. How is the imaging from standing up there? Because it's incredible down here. Here, just sit there. Bye. You definitely got to be in the middle. I don't think so. I'm up here and they sound good. Like I think you, they sound incredible, want... but that is incredible. Yeah, they sound really. They sound good from up here. They have depth. It sounds good out here. Room filling sound, and and this is kind of a small direction that we're testing it in from here. So you really need to be sitting in the middle. Ridiculous in the middle. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I changed the song. Too quick. What do they do? They disappear. <laughs> they totally Mike disappear. has never said that. Yeah. No, totally totally disappear. Very few speakers, I think, disappear. These are gone. They're like, gone. I don't hear them down there. They're perfect up yeah, there. It's ridiculous. So? Yeah, that's that's nice. The strings sound good too. Yeah. And the and the stand up bass. It sounds like way so these are like four grand. And they sound way better than four grand. They do. I think they're worth. They're pushing like almost less scholar good. And these are brand new. These aren't broken in. I know. I want to play some bass. So <laughs> yeah, that guitar it came like out of there, and then the reverb tail just went. 
Well, let's play something that sounds like a bar. A bar? It doesn't make any sense how they're so close to me. It just sounds so it, wide. It, yeah, they... And they're just gone. Yeah, they're gone. Everything's coming from the center. Because I'm only, what, five feet away from them? And everything is, like, above me in the center. It's stupid. Huh? I'm a big fan. These... These are worth every penny. I'm gonna put trampoline on. You know the trampoline song mm -hmm. from Shade? Yep. So they're actually friends at the store. Oh, okay. And uh, her dad's gonna be in tomorrow. Oh. So we'll let him listen to these with that song because we usually do. We let him try it on different speakers yeah. oh, and cool. we'll see what he thinks. Yeah, get his reaction. Yeah, we'll get his reaction. It's coming up now. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do Jaws. Yeah, that might be bad. Have you like? Have you heard listen to the Jaws I, remix? I have not. Okay. Uh, it's badass because this is the one that was in the um, the 2K NBA commercial. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't know that was a different mix. Okay. Yeah. Wow, they're amazing, actually. Um, it definitely fills the room. Kind of goes up. It's behind you. It's around you. It's the sides. I don't know. It's and, and sounds pretty vintage. Looks vintage. I don't know. These are pretty sweet. Uh, the best I've heard in a while, too. Yeah, most definitely. Everything's full. Everything's punchy. Uh, vocals are amazing. It sounds deep, and I had it up pretty, I mean, I had it up good. Uh, no distortion. I didn't feel shaky or, you know, things weren't bouncing around too much, but, yeah. Mids are great. I mean, I don't know. That's just, I could be pretty close to perfect speaker. <laughs> I mean, that thing's good. It's amazing. How's it sound compared to the studio? Um, I'm gonna say they're spot on. Probably maybe even a little better. When they're doing their recordings, they're use, they're using those big JBLs uh, studio monitors, but and they sound really good. But these, those are in front of you. These are, I mean, I'm telling you, it feels like it's all around you. It feels like it's, you know, at your feet, behind you, on the sides. It just it fills the room pretty good. That's way different. So like, there's no hype with these. We didn't know anything about them. Uh, we just, we were like, oh, cool, another vintage speaker. We like some of their other speakers and we brought them in. This is just, oh, oh. Spence, what do you think? I, I want them. <laughs> I want them. Build Good quality, quality. <laughs> they're very sturdy. I like the stands that they came with. I honestly like the fact that they screw on, so then they're screwed straight into the speakers, so you know they're not going anywhere. I like the fact that you can also not use the stands. If you had the stands, you could just keep the base that comes actually mounted on the speaker on. I like the attenuator just to give you a little bit of option. If something's a little too harsh, you can dim it down based on treble or mid. I like the layout of the speaker. I think they're definitely a straight competition to JBL, <laughs> to say the least. I think the terminals are sleek. I don't think they tried to do anything too extra on these, and they just, they just sound good. The end of the day that's what it's all about it's just a good sounding speaker Mike. yep i agree with everything spencer said <laughs> build quality is is really nice I, one thing that i want to point out about the uh the pots here is if you ever need to get into them to clean them with this one you can a lot of other speakers you cannot so they actually have this the screws on the outside you can pull it out clean them which is really cool because a lot of times you can't do that. Everything on here is positioned uh, really well, nice looking. I think they definitely put time into how the speaker is made for sound, not cosmetic hoo-ha like the terminals on the back being like extra special. The finish on the cabinet is, one thing you notice on these, whereas other walnut veneers like this, is they do, these don't really have a peel on the edges. Uh, so other brands sometimes right on the edge, you'll see where the veneer, veneer is sealed to each other. This looks like they did a straight wrap around job on the edges, it flows, it flows on that side. Uh, so if they did connect it, it's underneath. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, cosmetically, it's good. I mean, they have the paint, like these are pure paper cones. They feel different than the JBLs. I keep comparing them to JBLs because that's what they're comparing them to. Yeah. <clears throat> the JBL cabinet feels like plastic, like cheaper plastic. The cap, the, the actual wood on the JBLs also feels the same way. Um, 
and the driver's not even the same. But I don't have it here to show you because they won't send me any. But, yeah. you know, it's probably a good idea they don't want to be blown out of the water. But I think build quality is definitely going to rival the build quality on the KLH. Uh, the front feels exactly the same, unlike the Linton that is a little more on the grainy side there. So, yeah, build, build quality and aesthetics, uh, yeah, 10. 10. Yeah. Sound quality? I really, really, really enjoy them. Uh, I front firing, base port, always good. I've always been a big fan of them. Um, the dome mid range is is very nice sounding, um, much like the worked out Evos that have the large dome uh, mid range. The tweeter sounds just fine they're not too harsh they're not too soft like the like the Lintons it's a little softer on them the bass response is pretty ridiculous it says it goes down to 40 Hertz um, I believe that it's almost subtle for one I I believe that you know it could it may even go down below that in real-world testing but it sounds very very good the stereo imaging is really great. Um, one thing I would have done differently would on one speaker flip the bass ports, the controls with the tweeter in the mid range. Um, I think they did that just for logistics purposes because you know they can grab any two speakers, they don't have to be a matched pair when they're set up like this. If they were set up the other way, it would have to be a left and a right speaker. So one thing I did notice with the imaging, because it really stood out, and like everything really stood out, but with the imaging, usually when you turn stuff up really, really loud, sitting this close, uh, the imaging can break away and you can start to hear the speakers, and that is not the case, because we listen to these cranked up pretty loud with the N6. You don't lose, or like the bass doesn't muddy up the mids or the highs. It all feels very distinct. Yes. And I agree with you, Mike. I feel like if they would have flipped one of them on the bass port on the front, I feel like if they would have flipped one just so you had that left and right, just for aesthetics, because most people are gonna look at that, they're gonna be like, oh, well, which one goes which? It's kind of nice well, that they can go on either side, though. It's, n it's not for aesthetics. You get all of your imaging from the mids and the highs, so, it, like, here, I'm closer to the left speaker sonically than I am to the right, so, I would have to, like, sit here for the perfect... The perfect stereo. But, uh, Again, you don't get that a whole lot with these. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't yeah, know I was, you. <laughs> so the next thing I was going to ask was I need something negative about it because everything's been so positive. Is there anything negative besides the placement of the tweeter? So I'm going to start with, I, I, they could have did a better job, I think, on the speaker terminals. They're very basic and I'm not complaining about them because they're fine. They're, fine. they're, fine. they're, they're fine. not like the high quality machines aluminum that the clips have or the or, really nice ones that you know cap has on their reference in the blades and you, stuff. But can i can't complain about the grills either compare them to the lintons compare them to the klh's um a lot more base than the KLHs. a lot more base than the klh's um, fourth way more depth they're way more dynamic than the four tasers, way more bass, I feel, than the four tasers. I agree. Uh, imaging's way better. I think they're almost less scholars. The Cornwalls are like a grown-up four tag. Yeah. Okay, so they are just a a bigger version. And I don't know, we can side by side them. Yeah. But I think the depth, the dynamics, and the imaging is gonna rival the Scholars at a way lower price. And I'm not exactly comparing them to they can compete with the La Scala's, but they're on that level and that feel. Uh, yeah, I'm with you there. You get that level of sound quality through these speakers, uh, through and through. Like, come on in and we can side by side them for you and you be the judge. Because I am quite curious and the more people that come on in and demo these to put a side by side will make my opinion even stronger. All right, so now we're gonna take a closer look at them officially you know, because we did a little bit unboxing, but we're gonna start with the grills, which are magnetic. Um, and 
the fabric on them, Mikey, I think Kevlar. Yep. I think it feels like more like a Kevlar. So it has that like not like kind of plasticky feel almost, but still has the linen feel. It's weird. Uh, so Mikey, Mikey said Kevlar, and I think he's spot on. Now looking at the front, you have this. It feels like a real dense plastic, almost like a machined uh, aluminum, like which would be around the mid range. Uh, the tweeter has a more heavy grade around that. Now that's a 25 millimeter tweeter and a 55 millimeter uh, soft dome mid range, uh, which is great. I love the addition of that. It reminds me of the ADS speakers uh, of vintageness or whatever. <laughs> it does have this massive port right here uh, in the front. So it is front ported and you even have the potentiometers up here, which go on a negative one decibel to positive. Uh, so you have all three, you can get it flat. We, I think we liked them flat. We enjoyed the way it was designed, but you can hear the difference when you go one dB up or down uh, minutely, but you can hear it. Now let's get to the best part of the front of these speakers. This 12 inch driver, which is all, it, it feels like a subwoofer driver. So the surround is heavy, heavy duty rubber surround but then when you go to the cone it's actually like a very dense thick hard paper like it is a paper cone which is really cool you have the soft dust cap which i'm not going to press on because i think it would get indented uh, and i really like the way they connected uh the driver there with it's like they put a wax so it's definitely old school in the way they built this driver, which is like super, super cool and really heavy duty. Now let's get to the stand on the bottom of them. They actually come uh, preset with a flat stand that is not featured here. It's about one inch thick and it sits below if you want your speaker flat, but they do come with this uh, seven degree raised stand. Uh, so that you can raise your speakers up a little bit, which is what you want to do. Uh, and you just screw it on as we did in the video earlier. I think it was seven degrees. Now, they also say this matches really well with the Norstone vintage stands. Uh, you can actually order them with that if you wish, um, but they will ship separately. They don't ship with them, but they do come with this riser, which works pretty well. If you want to get them up a little bit, uh, the North Stone stand, or even uh, the KLH stand would probably be a good fit for this speaker. Uh, going around the back, <sighs> that was easier than I thought. So we do have the silver speaker terminals on the back. They're made pretty well. It is a nice five-way binding post that you can use with your speaker terminals, and you have the performance of the speaker on here. It is a three-way bass reflex speaker, uh, designed for up to 200 watts, and it has a frequency response of 40 hertz to 25 kilohertz, uh, plus or minus three dB. Sensitivity is 92 dB, so it is a pretty sensitive speaker. You won't need a ton of power, even though we pushed it with that. And impedance is six ohms. So now what do we think of sound quality for the speaker? And we're gonna start with two channel listening uh, because that's the majority of what we did. So with two channel listening, even at low volumes, these were dynamic as I don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. Like compared to anything in this price range, I'm to the point where I would say the next speaker better than this are the Lascalas and they're three times the price. It's like I bought a new Pioneer HPM 100. So it's so deep. Uh, and hey, that would be a good versus video. Maybe we'll do that in part two. So guys, if you have questions about these, leave them below. Uh, and we'll compare them to the HPM 100s. Just the dynamic and the depth of the bass, like it sounded almost like we had a subwoofer that was just so clean. Even though we didn't wear these in, the 150 hours that was recommended, and that's because of how thick uh, that rubber surround is. The dynamics, like they weren't forward, it was like you could just feel the music and that wasn't even the best part. I'll get to that soon. The lows were just done so well. So in comparison to some other speakers that we recently reviewed, uh, and I think these blow pretty much all of them out of the water, uh, but they are at a different price point. Compared to the Model 5s, they are much, much deeper and much more efficient bass. The mids and the highs are very accurate. 
Now to the best part, the imaging. I don't remember the last time, besides maybe when I listened to the Kef Blades, that the imaging was so precise and perfect if you were sitting in the center. And not that it wasn't good when you weren't sitting in the center, because these sounded good from all around the room. But when you're sitting in the center, and these are on the ground, the image is up in front of you like the artist is on a stage. And it was just unbelievable. I did not expect anything like that from these speakers. Um, and all of us felt that way. And I think everybody we put in front of these speakers over the last couple weeks, like that was the first thing they said. They're like, oh my gosh, it's right there in front of me. So if you're a person that likes that imaging like perfect and you like a lot of dynamics and depth to your speakers, they're right here. This is what you need. All right, now I'm gonna briefly touch on home theater because frankly, we didn't listen to it uh, that much in a home theater aspect. Uh, I think if you're doing a, a three channel home theater, you can't go wrong with these. You may even be able to get away uh, without having a sub. Now they only go down to 40 hertz. So, you know, some may say you definitely would want a sub with it. And you might if you want to feel like extra bass. But the way these like just filled the room and you felt the presence of the sound when listening through these speakers, I don't think uh, that you would really need that. And nor do I think you would really need a center. Like these you could do in a, I mean, I would say smaller room, but frankly, they, they may be too much for a smaller room. Uh, you could do these in home theater if you wanted to avoid a surround sound system, having speakers all over the room. If you want to just simplify it and you want a two channel movie listening speaker, I think these would really fill that void because there, there's not a lot on the market that really accomplishes that goal when you're playing a video game or watching a movie being able to feel the depth of that uh, show or game. Uh, we experienced that when we tested out the Model 5s and the Lintons. The Lintons did a pretty good job at that. Uh, I just think these performed better. In dislikes. <laughs> They're heavy. <laughs> uh, I guess I would, I would have liked the pots to have gone a little bit more than one dB. Uh, on them so compared to the pioneers which do go more and you have more options oh it would have been nice to have uh maybe one three and five <laughs> that's all i got the the speaker terminals on the back could have been better i guess but that's it that's it so this is like the worst dislike section of a video ever because I liked it all, for real. So that's it. That's our review and first look at the Ellipson Heritage XLX XLS 15s. Uh, if you'd like to get yourself a pair, you can do so at shopjustaudio.com. It supports us. And hey, you can get yourself a pair of what I think is probably the speaker of 2021. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and come by the store and experience just audio and hey if you have any other questions about these or comments of this video leave them below if you hated something i did yeah let me know but hey stay tuned